Oh yeah, that's right This is Saf's life Oh yeah, that's right Oh yeah, this is Saf's life Hi everyone, assalamu alaikum and welcome to another video. So today's video is going to be a dishwasher review. This is a tabletop dishwasher that a company contacted me and they said, can I send you a dishwasher to try out, show it in your video? So I was like, yeah, you know what, let me do it because my friend has been going on about wanting a dishwasher for so long. So I was like, I'll just give it to her. So here I am testing out this dishwasher which I was sent. This, you can get this on Amazon and it is 209 pounds i believe this is actually a tabletop dishwasher you can put it on a worktop you can put it on a table you can put it in like the smallest places and you've got a dishwasher some people have grown up without washing up and they just need a dishwasher but when they move out they don't have space for one so this is perfect for that if you don't have a lot of space in your kitchen my friend has actually put it in this space here which is it used to be a cupboard like this it's like a cupboard and she's taken the cupboard off the door and put it into this gap so it's literally the size of a kitchen cabinet she has a water supply and waste pipe over here so where she's put it is not like you don't need to put it there you can put it by your sink you can put the waste pipe going into your sink you can connect it to your tap as the water supply so you don't really need to put like fit it in she has used a connector to connect it to the water supply which I will link in the description of this video as well as the dishwasher. So you don't need to connect it to anything in the wall. You don't need like all the pipes and everything like that. You can literally just put it next to your sink and then the water supply can go into your sink. You can connect it to the tap using an adapter and it's just a really easy thing to use if you want a dishwasher and you don't have the space for it. This is the dishwasher. Let me show you a little bit about the dishwasher. So it's got the on and off button here. And comes on this lights up the kids have left some raisins under here lovely um so it's got the time here you can set the different modes um eco there's i've no idea what the modes are but there's loads of different modes and the different times so it depends on what you are doing what you are washing and you can also set a timer so it's like 1 to 24 hours and you can set it to go on in that time. I'm going to show you how to use this thing. When you open it, this is what you see. Ta-da! So it comes with a cutlery rack and it's just got all this space for your dishes and things like that. So I have actually had to make washing up because my genius friend decided to do the washing up before I came to film a dishwasher video. Who does that? <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to show you how to kind of start up your dishwasher and kind of what you need to put in there because she hasn't actually used it properly yet. I have all the things up here that you need. You need rinse aid. This helps to dry the dishes and kind of make sure there's no water left on them. So that goes into this little area here. Let me show you. So you literally just twist it and pull it up. And then as you can see, I don't know if you can see, it's got a max mark here and that's where you fill it up to. So you kind of just want to pour it in there until it reaches that max mark. And that is that done. So it took this much of it. So this lasts ages, it lasts weeks when you put it in. The next thing I'm gonna do is remove this rack. It's easy to remove, it just comes out like that. And we're going to put the dishwasher salt in. And that goes into this part here. So you just take this off. And it actually comes with a little funnel that you stick in, like that. And then you use this dishwasher salt. It's you can use any kind of like any branded dishwasher salt but you can get them from supermarkets you can get them from i got this one from poundland um but don't use normal salt that won't work you just use this one it will ruin the dishwasher if you use normal salt and i literally just snip off a corner so it doesn't like pour out too crazy watch me ruin this now like watch me wreck it um and let make it go everywhere so i'm literally just going to pour it into here until it reaches the top of the thing Forward. 
and there we go that is all done so you need to top it up until it reaches the top of it so i don't actually know what dishwasher salt does i just know you need it to make your dishwasher work properly so that is sorted now it is ready to load so i'm going to put this back in and it literally just like rolls in and out like that so i've literally made washing up to put into the dishwasher so i've got like jelly and coleslaw barbecue sauce ketchup things like that that i've just put onto things and i also had a couple of orange juice just to make washing up <laughs> so i'm gonna load the dishwasher with the stuff that i have so yeah we can see what fits in here i'm not gonna fill it up all the way i'm just gonna fill it up with whatever i have it's literally just a few bits and bobs so yeah let's go let's do it <laughs> Now it's time to put in the dishwasher tabs, so I'm going to put in one of these and they come in in so many different packs. I use the, I think they're the Astonish ones and I find them so much cheaper than the rest of them. I get them from B&M, but th these ones were a pound for ten from Poundland. You put it into here, so you just press that and then you can pop it in, close it and then we're going to close the whole thing. Now to figure out what setting it should be on. I think this dishwasher is a really good size for two, maybe three people, but I feel like it's really good just for like plates and cups and cutlery, things like that. Like even with my dishwasher that I have at home, I don't really wash like things that I don't want to get ruined, like my knives and some of my pots and pans and things like that. So it's worth getting it just for like cups and plates and cutlery because they, they just take the longest to wash up anyway and then you only have a few bits and bobs to wash up that you cooked with and stuff like that so it is a very very handy piece of equipment to have i thought i'd show you the wash cycles that it has it has intensive so it's 70 degrees and it takes 140 minutes for heavily soiled dishes this one is a universal 70 degrees 120 minutes moderately soiled dishes and this is eco a 65 degrees Oh, 230 minutes so it takes longer but it's um it uses less energy 90 minutes for this one which is 70 and 90 minutes lightly soiled dishes so i'll probably put it onto this one now or rapid i might just do the rapid one because i didn't really make too much of a mess so rapid is 30 minutes quick wash for emergency use so i think i'm going to do that and then 75 minutes for just glass lightly soiled glasses so those are all the settings that it has so let's put it on rapid which one's rapid And there we go, it's on. So I will be back in 30 minutes to show you the result of what we've just washed. So it has been half an hour. The dishwasher finished. When it finished, it actually beeped to tell you that it's finished. But I think because it was a quick wash, it didn't dry the dishes, but usually it would if you did it on a normal setting. So yeah, it cleaned everything. So that's a good thing. <laughs> So if you want a dishwasher and you don't have space for a big one, this is a good idea to get one of these. Maybe if you want it, I don't even know. All the links will be in the description of this video, but um, that is going to be the end of it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Assalamu alaikum. Bye. Oh yeah, that's right. This is Saf's life. Oh yeah, that's right. Now